Hey everyone, Ben here. I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're trying to grow on the platform and turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And if you did like today's video, then don't forget to hit a like down below because it helps other people to find our videos. And don't forget to comment down below on any suggestions for content that you have or comment about today's content. Let me know what you thought. Let's get into the video. Alright, we're in episode 3 of the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Randomizer. Last episode we picked up a whole bunch of stuff. We got Iron Boots, which is nice. We actually got Master Sword, which is pretty cool. Uh, so if you like the content, don't forget to join me on my socials. They are down below. Links to stuff like Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook Gaming. Mostly Twitch and Discord, because I'm trying to grow my presence on those platforms. But let's jump into this. So, we have got more checks to find, which is fantastic. Uh, I could enter a dungeon, but I can't really do too much in most of them, so I'm going to leave it for now. Up until I find some more of the key checks, and then we'll start going into some dungeons. Uh, we actually want to leave Dragon Roost Island, and we want to go to the coordinate to the right, which is this way. Because if I remember correctly, there is a sub here that I believe contains a few wizard robes. If I remember correctly, which I think I do. Uh, somewhere around here. Sub, where are you? Ah, wait, I think, yeah, there you are. Okay. Now, I could actually potentially die in this sub, because uh, these wizard robes are relentless. Fortunately, if I'm fast enough, it shouldn't be too big a deal, but it depends on if I'm fast enough. Because <laughs> these guys can spawn some real doozies of monsters. Ooh. All right, where are you? Oh, there's one. I don't remember how many wizard robes there are. Oh, God. Oh, no. I forgot about this. Ah, oh, crap. Ow. Ah. Da. Ah. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. This is really bad. Oh my god. Oh, there's another. So there's one left. Alright, there's one arrow. Oh my god. Go away! Oh, there we go. Okay. I forgot how rough this sub is because not only do you have Wizros, but Choo Choo Jellies drop and uh, Delend. It makes it so hard to target. And the problem is you can't just free aim because the second you start to try and free aim. Ooh, fire and ice arrows. <laughs> nice. The second you start to try and free aim, that's it. Like, you get completely screwed because of all this crap. Like, there's so many just random enemies chocked straight in here. It's ridiculous. Like, it's absolutely insane. Just the amount of enemies that are just chonked just straight in here. It's absolute madness. Right. Uh, actually, wait, no. There is other stuff I can do in close by coordinates. What am I doing? Uh, we want to go south of here, I believe, because there's a platform. And then we can also go to Fire and Ice Islands as well, because we now have Fire and Ice Arrows. So, that's cool. That's two extra checks. Oh, no, not those things. Ah, floating pineapples of doom.
I don't actually remember what is on this platform. I remember that there is a platform. I just don't remember what is on it. Where are the pineapples of death? Okay, there's pineapple. Leave me alone, pineapple of doom. Oh, it's just a free chest. Nice. I mean, I'll take out the enemies to make sure that there isn't another one, but... Well, we have max rupees now. Okay, that was simple enough. Very nice. Uh, so we actually want to go... This way. Yep, because I believe there's Fire Island. Yeah, it's past here. Stupid pineapples of doom. I hate these things. These things actually gave me nightmares as a kid. Like, they gave me nightmares as a child. They are horrific enemies. But like, they are literally pure nightmare fuel. Oof. Alright, I'm just going to get prepared. There is a platform here. Unfortunately, I don't think we can do this one yet. Because if I remember correctly, we need to take out the cannons. I've got nothing to take them out with. So, you'd either need boomerang or bombs. And I don't have either, so it becomes impossible. Uh, we want ice arrows. I do love how in both MM and Wind Waker, fire and ice arrows have more of a use. I mean, they're more used in MM more than anything else. Because in Majora's Mask, you require them to be uh, both uh, a Snow Air Temple and Great Bay Temple. In this game, they have a use as well. In Ocarina of Time, they have almost no use. I mean, in vanilla, fire arrows is only needed for one thing. And then ice arrows aren't needed at all. Although, in Ocarina of Time, if you didn't know, ice arrows have a really unique effect. Where uh, if you ice arrow Bongo Bongo's hand... He will use the other hand to punch it, which is kind of cool. Again, completely pointless, because by the time you get Ice Arrows in that game, you've already done Bongo Bongo. But it's still kind of cool nonetheless. Like, it's a cool thing they didn't need to add, but they did anyway. Alright, over we go. Okay, unfortunately we can't cheese this. I think you have to actually go all the way around, which is pretty annoying, but... Oh gosh, the fire keys look like ice keys. <laughs> Again, this is a rando option where you can change the color palettes of enemies. Where are you? Get out of here. Alright, so this chest would normally be power bracelets. Which we thankfully already have. Yay! The game gave us some love. Literally. <laughs> Alright, that's a uh, fire island complete. And then we've got Ice Ring Isle to go to, which I'm definitely going to do, because I kind of want to get that done. And then after that, the world is our oyster. At that point, it's just searching around, uh, figuring out what we can and can't do. Well, of course, depending on what... Hello? I pressed up. Hello? I pressed up! <laughs> Thank you. It wouldn't let me go from left to up. That is really weird. That's incredibly weird. I have no idea what caused that. Interesting. I hope my controller's not on the fritz. That'd be terrible. Oh, there's actually post. Uh, let's grab the post. Why not? Hello, post box. Just uh, spit the letter at me, why don't you? Yay! 
I got something pointless. <laughs> Don't you just love pointless checks in these games? Uh, okay, this way. You wouldn't believe that the whole, like, second dungeon is contained within this big rotten tree. But it is. Alright, Ice Ring Isle. So typically here is where you would get the Iron Boots. Uh, of course, we already have those, so. I mean, the good thing with this Rhino is we're getting a decent start. Although, if I could find Deku Leaf or a uh, Grappling Hook, that would be greatly appreciated. Because that would open up quite a lot to me. Bombs would open a lot too, because with bombs, I can take out a lot of the platforms, along with Boomerang. So those four checks would open up a lot of stuff to me if I could find them. Oh, I forgot you have to aim at the mouth, don't you? There. I love throughout the cutscene, the arrow's just still traveling, so you can just see it bop off the wall. There's also a chest here as well. Let's grab it. Well, I mean, that's pointless, but okay. At least the ice in this game, like when you shoot it, is not like Breath of the Wild. Around one of the towers in Breath of the Wild, there is a, uh, a bunch of ice blocks blocking. I believe it's the Hebra Tower, but I could be wrong. Um... And in order to get rid of the ice, you have to shoot it like five times with fire arrows. And of course, in that game, unlike in other games, fire arrows are like their own separate arrows. So if you run out, you're kind of screwed. It's really annoying, actually. But nowadays, when I play Breath of the Wild, I play with glitches like bomb impact launching, which just makes stuff like that trivial because I can just bomb launch over it, which is awesome. I don't know why, but like in every Zelda game, bombs are just infinitely OP. <laughs> Like, they, there's, in every game almost, hello? In every game almost, they're, you're able to just break the game, like, in half. It's wild. I have no idea why bombs are always programmed in a way to where the game's just broken with them. In fact, I think Wind Waker is one of the only games where bombs aren't infinitely OP. <laughs> Although I could be wrong. Because I do watch a lot of speedruns on Twitch. It's mainly what I do watch. What is going on with these jumps today? Hello? So, uh, I watch a lot of speedruns on Twitch. It's mainly what I do watch. And I pick all this stuff up just from watching speedruns. And it's actually really insane how, uh, wild... Like, bombs are in most Zelda games. They're so OP. Like, bombs are ridiculous. Because obviously in games... Ow! In games like Ocarina and MM, you can use bombs to get infinite sword glitch and also use them for bomb hovering. Which in of itself is really fun to do, especially Majora's Mask. Bomb hovering in MM is infinitely fun. I do it all the time in Rando just because I can. Anchor's breaking logic in MM Rando is stupid fun. Oh my gosh. Triforce chart 5. Thanks, game, because that is something I clearly did not need. Uh, I need my iron boots. Dude, we're making metal music. <laughs> we're making metal. All right, where are we going from here? What is kind of weird as well is that once you've actually done this part, the timer here just doesn't apply any longer. So, like, I could stay here infinitely if I wanted to, and I wouldn't freeze back over or anything. It's kind of strange, but kind of cool at the same time. Where is my boat? Boat. Where the... What happened to my boat? <laughs> Bo, did you sail off without me? Well, there you are. Why are you over here? 
All right, let's see. All right, I don't have Wind Waker equipped. It would probably help. Uh, okay, let's do ourselves a favor and we'll start at the bottom coordinate and make our way across. So we have something to do on the left side and try to remember what it is. Let me have a look at my map tracker. Uh, okay, there are two platforms on the next coordinate, which is actually kind of nice. I forgot about these. Again, this is why I have my map tracker in place, because if I get stuck and can't remember what specific checks are where, it helps me to remember. So there's two platforms here where there are two free chests, so I will take that. Just making sure that there isn't any bloody... Uh, pineapple. Ah, oh, pineapples are doom. God damn it. Leave me alone, Pineapples of Doom. Oh no, I remember this bloody platform. There are birds all over it. Ugh. That's not good because these things can screw your day up. They'll come up and knock you off over and over again. It is ridiculous. Okay, I've made sure that one won't be a problem. Go away, Pineapple of Doom. I'm not even looking at you. Leave me alone. No, those 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 birds are absolutely wild. They will knock you off and ruin your whole day. Because the way this platform works is there is a switch here which opens unlocks the chest on the other platform you go on the other one press that switch come back of course this would be infinitely easier if i had deku leaf but i don't so go away right i'm gonna quickly see if i can quickly snipe those birds from here there's one Perfect. Alright. At least this way I don't have to deal with the bloody things when I get over to this side. Because like I said, those birds are absolutely horrible and they will ruin your whole day. I remember in one rando of this where I was on Twitch. Um, it got a bit repetitive pretty quick. Like these birds were just relentless at knocking me off. It was stupid. Just one. We got a Boko Baba Seed. Sweet. Because I need that game. Thank you. Like, that, my, my, my life is complete. I have my Boko Baba Seed. I'm going to plant some of that and just uh, grow some, some uh, uh, Hyrulean tomatoes. And you know that they're Hyrulean tomatoes because they're blue. I don't know what I'm talking about. We'll go with it, though. This is just me being confused at the game's item pool. <laughs> Why is there a Boko Babo seed in the item pool? <laughs> I guess maybe in the base game you get one from a chest somewhere. I'm assuming. Duh. Well, there's Nehru's pearl. So we've already got two of the three pearls, which is actually kind of wild and weird. Why is that a thing? And now I'm also getting the heck out of here. Because one, pineapples are doomed. Two, reasons. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. If you did, don't forget to join me on my socials. They are linked down below. Links to stuff like Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook gaming. And I hope to see you in the next one. Hey, everyone. Thank you for watching today's video. Above is a preview of the previous upload. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe, please. Because we're trying to grow on the platform. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And if you liked the video, why not leave it a like? It really does help other people to find my videos. And don't forget to comment down below on any content you want to see. Or what you thought about this video specifically. Let me know and I will see you guys in the next one.